Hey, welcome. Uh, we're looking today at Cohesity's mass restore function, and particularly looking at the mechanics of that mass restore. We're back in my normal lab, and we've got my ESXi server here that is currently running. My normal lab workload, but down the bottom here you'll see there are a bunch of virtual machines that are named Win-01. They're just Windows Server 2008 R2 machines that I've created, just a bunch of machines that we're going to play with. These are the ones that I'm going to accidentally delete and then need to restore. Current configuration is that I have a single host running everything, and that on that host there are some uh, data stores. DSXi 1-boot is the free space on the boot device, I'm not using that at all. NVMe 1 is a 1 terabyte NVMe drive that's got most of my normal lab production machines and then SSD1 holds the less critical components. That's a 2 terabyte Micron SATA SSD and it currently hosts both the Cohesity appliance itself, the Cohesity Virtual Edition, and also all of those Win virtual machines. So the really important thing to understand as we're going through this is that the performance of the storage migration is going to be limited by the fact that we're both reading and writing from that SSD. So don't pay too much attention to what the restore performance is like because in a production environment you're going to have multiple Cohesity appliances and you're going to have um, something a little more high performance than a single SATA SSD. So let's get into it. We have our four machines here. If we have a look at our VM list and we just put a filter on that to find our win machines and there we go five virtual machines all currently powered on so I'll grab all of those I will power them off and then when they're all powered off then I can accidentally delete them all from disk now it's unlikely that it's going to be somebody clicking in the user interface that mass deletes machines, but it is entirely possible. It's kind of more likely that it'll be an administrative error or something a little broader. It might be a, a data store loss. It might be a misconfigured PowerShell script that deletes all of the virtual machines. But suddenly I found that a whole bunch of my virtual machines are gone, so I come across to my Cohesity dashboard. And one of the things we'll see is that I set up a protection job that backs up just these few machines. So this IMR test backup job, if we edit him, we'll see that the targets in here are my win one through five machines and they're being backed up daily. So they were backed up last night at 8.14 p.m. Kind of unfortunate they're due to be backed up in about another four hours time and I happen to have deleted them now. I want to get those virtual machines back so I'm just going to come straight into recovery and it's going to say uh, what's happened. You can see that I've already tested this once and that long duration is due to my slow storage. Uh, what we then want to do is say that I'm going to recover VMs and I want to search for VMs starting with win. Show me a VM list from this IMR test or maybe I just grab all of the virtual machines that I want from here. One, two, three, four, five. Grab those. Continue through that. It says, what do you want to do? Uh, I want to recover all of them back to their existing locations. I want to keep the original networking and start connected. Finish. And away it goes. The restore has started. Or at least, yep, we got start started. We got status. Uh, what we'll see over here is that we had a create NAS data store item. It's the first event that we see. And that's this Cohesity internal 16160 data store that's been created. You can see it's the, the size of my Cohesity appliance and shows the free space. So it's mounting the actual backup store from the Cohesity appliance to my ESXi server and then the various virtual machines are being uh, added to my inventory here. And you can already see that 1, 2 and 3 are added to the inventory and powered on. And probably if I refresh the web client, we'll see that, yeah, there's 4 as well. So they're all starting up. If we look at an individual virtual machine, 
we'll see that it's starting up and that it is using that Cohesity data store. You can see all the tasks, the powering on tasks uh, completed for most machines and now the relocation tasks have begun. Okay. So everything is coming up. If we uh, open up a console, let's get a web console on the first machine. What we should see is the operating system booting. We just missed the, uh, the animation and it should very shortly come up and show us the Windows starting. So let's see how the local recovery management is showing us this status. We can see some progress. We can see that the migrations are underway and that everything has, has begun. Uh, currently we're, we're what minute 46 into the recovery. Let's see if we can see any further progress on the other machines. So we can see that they're all powered on. But we're not yet seeing any Windows boot. So at the moment Windows is booting on these machines and it will come up fairly shortly again because we're doing that migration at the same time as the startup uh, and because we're sharing a single uh, SATA SSD, it, this, the SSD itself is what's getting swamped in here. There we go. Um, machine is starting up and uh, will very shortly be available. And in the background those migrations will continue to happen. Alright, well, I guess there's not a lot of point in watching these progress bars and uh, watching this startup. So we'll come back in a couple of minutes and uh, we'll, we'll see how that machine looks. Well, as it often seems to occur in these videos, a little while later ends up being the next day after life intervenes. The five machines have all restored back. They're all now living on my local SSD. And if we have a look at the ESXi host, the data store list has gone back to just having that local storage inside it. The NFS data store from the Cohesity cluster has gone away. Virtual machines themselves, uh, you can see we have a uh, shutdown event tracker triggering on here because the backup was taken whilst the virtual machine was running. Absolutely normal restore from backup kind of behavior. But there is a perfectly operational server came back into operation before that migration back onto the data store began. And then we can see that my recovery is completed. Uh, you can see fairly long times for the, com to the, the uh, completion of the recoveries in that duration column. Uh, primarily again because of that low performance storage that I have underneath both the appliance itself and the machines. So that recovery was pretty quick and painless and used that temporary NFS data store to allow us to bring up the virtual machines before we started doing the bulk copy back into place. So the VMs themselves were back up in operation in a couple of minutes even though it took as you can see nearly four hours to complete that recovery back into their original locations. Really nice feature because I didn't have to do anything about migrating off the data store that's being provided by the Cohesity Backup Cluster back onto the production location. Uh, quick and easy return to service and minimum effort on the part of the administrator. Well that's us for today. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day and keep checking back in. I'll be making some more videos about my Cohesity experiences over time and we'll dig a bit deeper into the functionality on this platform.